Hey guys, Ivan here. In this video, we have a couple of very interesting updates of some bodybuilders who are prepping for the Arnold Classic and the others who are in their off-season. But as you can see, obviously, first we are starting with Samson Dauda with his most recent physique update in this, let's say, front relaxed pose, hands on hips, so semi-relaxed pose. And what we're looking at here mainly is his conditioning for four weeks out. Because that's probably the only thing that he can and potentially will change from the from the Olympia to the Arnold. Because there's gonna be only like I don't know 12 weeks maximum. So what kind of what kind of other changes can he make in 12 weeks? Like he's not gonna grow a body part that he didn't have before. He can only try and get more conditioned or get a little bit fuller maybe or peak differently, and that's about it. So at this point, at four weeks out, I think his conditioning is pretty comparable to what it was on the Mr. Olympia stage, but I don't think it changed much in the past couple of weeks, I think it pretty much stayed the same, so they're probably keeping him at the same point, probably trying to maximize his training so he looks as big, as hard, as full as possible, and at the end, maybe like in the last two or three weeks, they're gonna try and bring a little bit better conditioning, but I'm sure they will not try and sacrifice the fullness, because that was their game plan before, and obviously it worked. Milo Scharzer talked about this, he's aware that Samson will not have super shredded glutes. He's not really gonna be like the most shredded guy on that stage and in order to be competitive against these mass monsters, he does need to be big and full and round. He cannot lose all that fullness. He needs to be big. And obviously Mil Sharcher was right, because that's exactly what they planned, that's what they did for the Mr. Olympia, and Samson managed to crack that top 6. Now, Arnold Classic is approaching, and it seems like Samson actually believes, really believes, that he can really win the Arnold Classic, which is completely reasonable. Last year, he did the Arnold, and he placed 3rd. Guys, top 3 at the Arnold, that's a big freaking deal. That's a huge deal. And it's not like it was a weak lineup. I mean, you had Brandon Curry and William Bonac at his absolute best, placing ahead of Samson, and a bunch of pretty good guys out of that top three. So that third place at the Arnold was a huge success. However, for the Mr. Olympia, Samson looked completely different. Like the change that he made in those, I don't know how many, like six months, probably less. I mean, he changed drastically, he changed so much, he really managed to transform his body in a very short time period, so it's kind of expected from him to make big changes from the Olympia to the Arnold, however, I'm not really seeing it, I don't think he's gonna be that much changed, but again, being third last year and improving a ton for the Olympia and potentially being a little bit better than the Olympia now with the Arnold, I think it's pretty reasonable to expect him to win the Arnold. But again, even though last year's lineup wasn't weak, this year's lineup is much stronger because you have Nick Walker, who just beat Brandon Curry and William Bonac. You have William Bonac, who is potentially gonna be at his absolute best. You have guys like Sean Clarida, who just won the Olympia. You have Big Remy, two-time Mr. Olympia champion. And also, you have Andrew Jacked, who I have a feeling is potentially going to win the Arnold. We're gonna talk about that in, in another video, but realistically, based on their previous performance, I think Samson is kind of expected to be in that top two. Is he expected to beat Nick Walker? Well, the only way I can see him beating Nick Walker is if Arnold has an actual effect on the judges and what he prefers is actually something the judges are looking for. Like a more classic, more aesthetic uh, kind of physique, not necessarily a mass monster, a blocky kind of guy like Nick Walker. So if they are looking for what Arnold is looking for, then Samson might have an advantage and might beat Nick Walker. So I think it's pretty reasonable to have this guy as the potential Arnold Classic winner. What do you guys think? When you look at his physique, do you see an Arnold Classic winner? Do you think he can beat all of these guys? And what do you think? Where is he gonna place? Give me your prediction. Where do you have Samson at this year's Arnold Classic? I mean, I know, I'm sure we all know that he can be either first or like fifth. But if you had to say one spot, where would you put him? Personally, I would say top two. I would say second. But we'll see. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below.
all right the next update is really really interesting uh, this is like a dark horse at this year's arnold classic because this guy can be i don't know dead last or he can win the arnold i believe he actually has the potential to win the arnold classic now this guy was uh, eight the mr olympia i believe not so long ago like a year ago or like two years ago and at the arnold last year I believe he was fourth or fifth, but from what I heard in the pre-judging, he was actually beating Samson Dauda and he was in third right after William Bonac and Brandon Curry. But at the finals, something really bad happened to his physique and he I think he spilled simply and he looked horrible and that's why they placed him lower. But only a week later, he tightened up his conditioning, he came to the Boston Pro looking really freaking good and he pushed William Bonac. he really pushed him and he placed second, Samson was at that show as well and he looked just as good as the Arnold Classic but he didn't play second, he didn't place third even, he placed fourth, Steve Kuklo also beat Samson Dowd at that show but that was before his huge transformation like at the Mr. Olympia, Samson was a different bodybuilder so in all likeliness we will not see justin rodriguez beating samson dauda but i don't think it's entirely impossible not so long ago in 2021 this guy justin rodriguez pushed nick walker at the new york pro like it was pretty close some people had justin winning some people had young nick walker who just had let's say his pro debut at that show uh, yeah nick won but it was very close so Justin is not somebody we should underestimate. Uh, this guy is, as you can see, 275 pounds right now at four weeks out. And the thing with him is, everybody knows this, when he is on, which is rare, but when he is really on, he looks hard as a rock, he looks big and full and round, and when he does that, when he is really on, when he peaks well, he looks incredible, he looks crazy. But sometimes, I think very often, he looks off with conditioning mainly. And in that scenario, he can place dead last at the Arnold Classic. But seeing him looking like this right now, and usually you, when you watch him and you follow his progress, he's always like really fat, like really off until like the last two weeks. And at the very end of his prep, he gets in shape. Now, at four weeks out, he looks to be in a really good shape. Now, yeah, this lighting is definitely very anabolic lighting. You know, it's flattering lighting. It's not what we're gonna see on stage, what we would see on stage if he stepped on stage right now. But as you, you can see the condition, you can see, you can see what is going on, really. And at this point, four weeks out, I think he's in better condition than he usually is at four weeks out. So that's why I'm expecting him to bring something solid. You know, I'm expecting him to bring really crazy conditioning. And I think he's going to be really big and full. 275, guys, at four weeks out. So this guy is a big guy and he's not tall at all. He's a short guy. He's like Nick Walker height. So being this freaking massive, he doesn't have the prettiest shape, not by any stretch, but he can get shredded when he does when he picks well and he can get really he is really big and full and his back is phenomenal so really anything is expected from this guy like i can see him even win the arnold classic if i was a batting man i would not say he's gonna win but i also wouldn't be so sure that that's entirely impossible and i think it's pretty possible to see this guy crack like the top three or top four if everything goes well for him and if some of the other guys fail with peaking a little bit now, here is an off-season update of Rafael Brandao. I just mentioned Samson Dauda, and Samson Dauda competed against Rafael Brandao in 2021. At the end of that year, they competed uh, against each other in a couple of shows, those post-Olympia shows like Romania Pro. And in some shows, Samson won, Rafael won some others. So it was really close. These guys were like at a very similar level. They are similar height, they are both like classic looking, aesthetic looking bodybuilders and again it was very close between them in 2021 but now I don't think it's really that close, I think Samson really surpassed Rafael even though Rafael also made a lot of progress and again he placed 10th at the Olympia, you know, that's a big, that's a big success I was not expecting him to crack that top 10 not in this lineup, but he did it. Even though he's not really the biggest guy, he's in that category, uh, I would say, that's between Classic and the Open, like, for example, Patrick Moore as well. So both of these guys are way too heavy for Classic, but they are not as big as the other Open guys. 
but I don't know if I would say that about Rafael really because he did really well in the open even though he is not the biggest guy he really did fit well in that open division by placing freaking 10 at the most competitive Olympia in a long long time and this is him right now in the off season. so as you can see he's you know, he got a little bit chubby and hairy, <laughs> and he does not look as good as, for example, Derek Lansford does right now. Uh, these guys are both in the offseason, but I feel like Rafael took some time off, you know. He probably wasn't really paying attention too much to training and eating and I don't know whatever he's doing in terms of cycles, but right now he looks like he relaxed a little bit. Does he look horrible? Of course not. He looks great, but does he look like he made progress? Does he look like huge humongous that i would say wow he he made progress he's growing i don't think i would say that not really i think he looks like he relaxed a little which is there is nothing wrong with that but if he wants to make some serious growth some serious progress he doesn't he doesn't get to have those breaks you know he needs to be pushing it the entire year because he did not qualify for mr olympia he's gonna have to do a show soon i have no idea what his plans are as far as uh, his next show but I still have to say he needs to grow more muscle, he needs to get bigger, and yeah, I mean, who doesn't, like, at the Mr. Olympia, all of these guys could use some more muscle in certain places, but I think Rafael needs, like, overall mass everywhere, even though he did really well with what he has, still he did make progress, like, from last year he definitely got bigger, but if he got a lot, a lot bigger, then he would be, like, a seriously, like, top Olympian, top bodybuilder, Top 10 is still amazing, but, you know, if he really added, like, around 20 pounds of muscle, then I could see him being in that top 6, like Samson. What do you guys think? And here is another guy who is in his bulk, as you can see in his caption. He likes to put caption after all the hashtags, so if you guys don't pay close attention, you won't even catch what he says. And he says he's one week in bulk, in off-season. So, in those weeks prior to this... He was, you know, just taking it easy, like, he wasn't even training very seriously, he was letting his body relax, but as you can see, he, I think he's at a better point than Rafael Brandau, and this guy was 12th at a Mr. Olympia, his first Mr. Olympia, and his first year in the IB Pro League, and this guy's big, like, he's really huge, uh, with his crazy frame, he still has a lot of muscle, so it's not like he needs to grow a ton of muscle like Rafael Brandau, he doesn't really, yeah, he needs to improve certain areas, but overall, he doesn't need to just get as big as possible, like, he's already very, very massive, and he's already bulking, like, he's already trying to progress and, and get bigger, I'm really curious what his next show is gonna be, how he's gonna try and qualify for the Mr. Olympia, and also, I'm very curious, how far can his career go? Because, again, he has a ton of muscle, he has the perfect shape, his structure is amazing, his symmetry is great, the shape of his muscle balance is also insane. So, if he progresses, and I'm sure he will, like, every year so far he made a lot of progress, if he makes some progress, and he brings better conditioning, more muscle maturity, he puts on better tan when he competes, then, like, where, how long, how far can this guy get? If he was 12th at his first Olympia then I can also see this guy being a top 6 bodybuilder in a pretty near future. Anyways guys, give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.